right? No. Yeah, yeah go for it. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Hello, Anna Minyan here. I'm back. I finished my final exams for VCE in year 12, which are the most important exams in my entire life because they decide which university courses and careers I can get into. These exams were the reason why I haven't been making videos, because I didn't want to ruin my entire life. Let me tell you that every day that I wasn't making videos was so painful, because I had all these ideas swimming around inside my head, but I, and I wanted to share them, but I couldn't. And I was scared. I was scared of disappointing myself, my family, and just thinking of all the people who would laugh at me because I was dumb. It was so so much stress and it hurt so much, but I accomplished it. I don't know how I did, to be honest. I just want to get into the course that I want, which is engineering. But you know what? It's done. All the regrets, all the anxiety, none of it matters because everything is already decided. There's nothing I can change and I have to be satisfied with what I have done. To be honest, I finished my exams for six days now, but I've been procrastinating. I've been sleeping at three o'clock and waking up at 12, which has just made me feel discontent and I haven't been productive. It's not a way to live, especially not now. That is the only time that I will have to myself. This holiday after graduation is priceless. It is time to learn and do things that I want. I know this because my brother is working at a law firm currently and he works from 9 to 5 as a corporate slave. Once you get a job, you have no time to yourself. There is nothing in your, else in your life and it becomes really difficult to pursue your interests. So I have to treasure this free time and do something with my life. It's a time that I can finally connect with you guys. I could on the one hand just play video games all day. But I know that wouldn't be satisfying for me, and I would eventually regret that. So I would rather spend that time doing something that I personally enjoy. I'm at a crossroads in my life, I just, and I just don't know where to go. But I know soon I'm going to have to work. And you know, my brother once told me this interesting thing, which is, if work was interesting, no one would pay you for it. Simply put, work is rarely something that you enjoy. So you have to take hold of your free time while you can. So this holidays, I plan on doing, well, a lot of videos, improving how I edit videos, setting up a healthy sleep and exercise routine, and learning some web development through code, which I've been looking into. But now I want to do it on a professional level, even though I know nothing at all about code or website development. Other things that I want to do um, I want to learn how to use C4D properly to incorporate some 3D work in my videos. I also want to write, finish, and publish a book. Writing has been a huge interest of mine that I haven't really talked about, and but I have a keen passion. If you want to look at one of my planned works, the link to the story in what pad is down in the description. And yeah, so a lot of my play, I know. Heads up, during these holidays, I may or may not get a gaming PC. My dad's like, we'll see if you do well in VC and if you need it next year. And if I do end up getting a PC, I'll do some playthroughs of games that I'm interested in, but haven't played, such as Nier Automata. It'll be some fantastic stuff. I'll see if I can't do some live, live streaming, if that happens. But again, still in the works. Moreover, I do also have a few features that I'll add to every video that I'll make. And the first of which is that my video, all my videos from now on, and, and all my previous ones as well, will be Creative Commons. That means you can just take this whole video and change the name to yours. I give you full permission to repost, remix, do whatever you want. Why? Because I've never seen someone do something like this. No one does reviews which are royalty free, and I want to do that. I think it's partially because we're scared that somebody will steal our secrets and become better than us. But that's a good thing, I think. Well, because, well, I don't care about that. I don't care about taking credit or money. In fact, you're helping me by sharing my videos, but I hope that this can help you as well. In saying that, I do recognize I use a lot of content, which is not 
my own in my videos, such as video game trailers, uh, playthroughs, and the like. However, I try my best to keep it fair use by using their content to reference things I'm talking about or just to use a small amount of their content. And I was conflicted whether I should make my content Creative Commons because I didn't want to claim someone else's work as Creative Commons, which is probably even worse than claiming it as your own. Um, however, I try my best to transform the work so it is something new altogether. In the case that there is some copyright uh, on the content, I will inform you in advance. For example, if I use a copyrighted song, which is allowed by YouTube, but just means that you can't monetize the video. Just so if you want to, the entire video to be royalty free, just don't use that section, um, which will usually be the introduction. Another feature that I'll be adding uh, is the writing time for each of my videos, so I personally can keep a record and improve upon how efficiently I make videos. But also to inform you just how long it takes to make a video. It's not going to be very accurate because I often write my ideas on pieces of paper that I keep beside my bed at night and I don't have the time of them. And plus I usually forget time a lot of the, time, of the time when I'm writing. So take it with a grain of salt. Last of all, I'll be copying in Game Maker's Toolkit by adding a recommended section at the end of each of my videos because I wanted to, to share some of the videos that I've, I've been watching and found to be interesting. Although I haven't been making videos, um, I have written scripts of 12 to 13 videos that I want to get to. So I'm going to be doing those videos as soon as possible. Before we finish up this video, I just want to take a few seconds to talk about the video at the start that was my contribution to the Year 12 graduation assembly. There is just one regret that I felt really bad about for this video. I wanted to create something that represented the entirety of Year 12. And the problem was, I had way too many shots of myself. I didn't want it to really focus so much on me, and I felt that I did that really poorly, and I felt that I messed up. It was just that I didn't have many others to film with, and I wanted to finish the video as quickly as possible, so the easiest option was to film myself. However, in hindsight, I can confidently say that I made myself look like a selfish prick, because by trying to hog the center of intention in a video which was supposed to be about all of year 12. And I was kind of sad about that. But it's done, so there's nothing I can change. I still like what I achieved, and I recognize where I went wrong. I was still quite happy with the final product, and I hoped you guys enjoyed it. It was really fun to make this video. Also, I have to mention this person in the video for being so awesome. He's a musical genius, and I feel kind of bad because I didn't include some of the footage where he was playing anime covers on piano completely off by heart. So I'll end this video off with him playing a few. He's such a swell guy, and I really have to thank him for giving me permission to do so. So thank you very much. Now, that's it. I do understand that this video was largely about the changes I'm going to be implementing, and I would rather be doing videos purely on content because I only make videos that I myself would watch and value. And that means maximizing the value in every word I say. I've looked back at some of my earlier videos where I was this super positive, inspirational person who just made these videos saying something along the lines of, you can do it if you try. But I now see that that's such an oversight. It's not positivity that brings results. It's the willingness to drown yourself in things that are difficult and painful. And I think we'll end on that encouraging note. Um, I hope this video was, wasn't this superficial and meaningless ramble because I thought that I would rather have this video as something separate instead of having it something together with a game review or something else. Originally, this was supposed to be an introduction to another video, but I think it's better for both to be separate videos because they're different topics and it would be confusing to put them together. Anyway, have a good day. Looking forward to seeing you again. Anime Nyan, out.